man, today we talking about the big guns, man. Yo, what's up? It's your old buddy, Rusty. I heard a bunch of great stuff about it. Wanted to see if it's really true. Well, guess what? Exciting milestone alert for this video. You need to subscribe to my channel and you need to post a comment to this video down below. I'm hosting a big giveaway and it all revolves around this video. So here's the information. I'll take this information and drop it towards the end of the video as well so that you can pause on it, look at it later, but enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you at the end. Hey, and just so we're on the same page, this is not any sponsored review. These are just my own thoughts, man. And I tell you what, beware of my ideas, because you could end up like the chicken. Thanks to OM Systems for sending this out to let me try. Not a sponsor. They just sent this out. Let me give it a shot, see what it's all about. And stick around to the end, because you're going to want to find out how many stars I give this lens. By the way, I'm filming this with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and the DJI Mic 2. If you don't got one, get one. This guy, he got the wrong kind of mic. Today, I've got the Olympus OM Systems OM1 with the Mzuka 150 to 400 millimeter lens with a two times teleconverter. This thing is crazy for a zoom. Tell you what, you know how I love the Sony 600 F4, and that's my favorite prime lens across everything for getting reach out there and getting some good stuff. However, this package right here, way lighter, way easier to travel and go anywhere that you need to go. And the cool thing is about it, you can essentially go from 300 millimeters with the 150 millimeter lens, low end of it, that being because it's micro four thirds so it's times two on the actual millimeter so you're actually at 300 millimeters hey by the way if you don't know what micro four thirds are check out this movie that's going to be after this exact video i talk about the om5 and in that video i explain micro four thirds maybe not as exciting as this video but i do explain it if you got any other questions hit me down below in the comments i'll answer them and when you go up to the full 400 millimeters, you're actually at 800 millimeters. And then it's got this really cool built-in right there, 1.4 times teleconverter. So when you flip that over, you're at a thousand millimeter focal length right there. Then you put the two times teleconverter. Oh my God. And tell you what, the photos that I've gotten with this have been pretty well right there, tech sharp. I'm really impressed that there's something this light, this small that you can take with you and go. And the neat part is this, when you pull this apart, it's got this nice cover, by the way. When I pull this off, I put this lens cover back on or this hood. Look how small that, I mean, that's small, right? And then you pull this apart, take that off. And now we're talking about a, a gear that's this big that can fit really simple in any bag, just about small bags, like real small bags. And I got to thinking, I should probably show you what I mean by small bag, right? So this is my Vanguard. This is a 36 size Vanguard bag. Love this one, great weather, not gonna get off on a bag tangent, but you know I love Vanguard bags because of the quality and because of the price. But I wanna show you, look at inside this bag, that whole entire camera setup sits right inside there without a problem. I, even with the two times teleconverter, the OM-1 and the entire lens with the lens hood put on reverse. That's pretty impressive. Think of the places you can sneak into with this type of telephoto lens. Wow. Another thing, look at the size difference. That's the Sony A7R5 connected to the Sony G Master 600 millimeter F4. And that is the OM1 connected to the M Zuka 150 400 millimeter Pro. That is the size difference that I'm talking about. And here's that same thought process with both of them having the hoods on. They're so big and tall on that 600 F4, I can't even get a shot of it without getting my light in it that's how tall that is you'll know on your arms all day long carrying that extra big weight and that's why that right there that little om1 systems concept and build out it's pretty cool for something light Listen, man, when i go to miami brothers let me tell you something man 
this, this lens right here, the Sony A7R5 with a big zoom, ah, right? It don't fit in no bag, man. No, I draw lots of attention. It's way too big, man. But this guy right here, <laughs> I'm gonna be like a pa pa pa, pa pa pa, cha cha cha. I'm gonna get some photos, man, on the beach of the girls. You know what I'm talking about? This is the lens that's gonna take me to the new level, man. In my on my beach, here I go. Who is that guy? Anyhow, look at the size of teleconverters as well. Two times teleconverters. I'm having a hard time keeping this out of Michelle's hand. Yeah, she loves this thing. And I tell you what, she's probably gonna have a video that she's gonna do of her own. I know her videos are rare, but I think she's gonna do one because she loves this camera and this lens so much. Now, some of the things that I've noticed that are really nice about it is that it has this ability right here where when you loosen this up, you can turn that. Now, I had this on the Sigma 500 F4 lens as well. And I remember how much I liked that. And I like that click, you hear that? So if you're doing a nice vertical shot or you're going back to horizontal, it clicks in there where you want it to and it holds it nice and tight. I also like here, look at all these nice little switches. They are done very, very well. And they're of course, you know, like many of the nice big high-end lenses, they've got all the right switches. And the ability that... Remember, always use a lens hood. I don't care who you are. Talk to the guy right here that one time, years and years ago, didn't use lens hoods and thought they were a waste to put on and off. Didn't put one on, bumped into something, and scratched the tar out of a really good piece of glass lens. So remember, always use the lens hood. Anyhow, getting back on. Got some preset buttons right here ready to go got a nice adjustment so that you can adjust from that 150 to 400 millimeter or essentially 300 to 800 right micro four thirds remember and that gives you that ability to have that higher end of a focal length the lens has a lowest maximum f-stop of 4.5 and then it goes up from there consecutively but i have taken some really neat pictures of it with it and um I was really impressed at what I got because, as you know, I'm a strong Sony shooter and I just, it's hard for me to tell you to really come to terms with it's true. This thing is just, yeah, it's that good. It really is. So my, this is going to add to my favorite lenses of all time. My favorite lens of all time in that category is the Tamron 50 to 400. That's an amazing lens. Um, my Sony 600 F4, as you know, that's my favorite go-to for the big telephoto prime. And I love the 135 millimeter for taking portraits just because of the distance I can get and it just gives you that nice little fall into it kind of look behind the subject and surprisingly this lens right here is going to get added with this camera to that list of my favorites. Beware of my ideas talking to the chicken and the chicken told me I should communicate something very clearly. What I mean by that this lens is now one of my top four lenses ever is that this lens is literally going to replace my 135 millimeter f1.8, my 600 millimeter f4. It'll also replace a couple lenses in between that I kind of carry with me now and then, and it will replace the Tamron 50 to 400 millimeter, so to speak. But for the most part, this is a pretty impressive lens. For real. What do you think, chicken? <laughs> and one of the thing that's talked about many people with the OM1 is the built-in. Um, there's plenty of other people that have done some really great reviews about that, so I'm not going to waste your time here going over what you can probably have already seen or can find from other people that have done those. Um, but what I want you to understand is that everything that you're going to hear about this camera, the good, is completely true. Um, I myself have seen some people give it some not great reviews, and I don't know why or where their thought process Hey, by the way, also, you should know that I give away free stuff like every single month. I have two different type of free giveaways. One, anybody that's a new subscriber each month is entered into a random drawing that I pick from. I just randomly do it, and there's no, like, twist, twist, twist or anything like that. I just look at the new subscribers and go, okay, that person's getting something. And I contact you and let you know, and you can get whatever free item I'm giving away. 
on top of that, all my subscribers, I do the same thing. Point a finger and I pick somebody once a month as well to give away a free piece of gear. Each month I give away some pretty cool stuff. These are items that I've either bought, I've come across or somehow landed in my studio and I've checked out or used out in the field or maybe it's something out of my old gear bag, but I pass it along. So don't forget to subscribe. I have seen some people give it some not great reviews and I don't know why or where their thought process was on that. I really don't because I haven't seen anything in this lens or this camera that has made me question what I'm using. And the ability of the video with it, the video quality has been really, really well. Um, I just used some just turned it on, plugged it on, and here I went to go with it. Didn't do any type of editing. I played around with a little bit of the colors and stuff, so what you're seeing here is probably not the best color suiting for the situation, but I just wanted to show you exactly what I shot. Really enjoyed the depth that I was able to get with the zoom, and the bokeh, surprisingly, is really, really nice, really impressive. So if you're looking for a lightweight situation and something completely different than what everybody is probably told you about the micro four thirds should definitely be on your radar tell you this listen up sony don't know where it's going don't know how it's happening but they registered i believe it's a 47 megapixel micro four thirds or possibly a new type of a sensor this has recently happened now hard to say what that really is don't know seen some different stuff and i'm sure you have too if you're out there looking around the internet but i think we all need to keep our eyes open because there's also rumors that om systems may be having a big new big daddy come out soon so i I have no any way, form whatsoever to tell you of anything confirmed on that. I'm just telling you, just like you can go see yourself, there's been lots of rumors. So just like you and me together, if anybody hears or anything, please let me know. I want to be in the know-how too, because if there's something that's going to even be better than this from OM Systems, wow, they're back. That's right. Good old Olympus OM Systems. They're taking it and they're bringing it back. Remember, they were the top players, 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 players on the field way before Sony became where it is and I remember all the years when I used to shoot use Nikon gear it was always against Olympus and I started out my career as a young kid playing around with Olympus so it's good to see it come full circle it's good to see and feel something like this in my hands just so light it's yeah it's that good so um top four camera lenses that I've ever played with right here so Five stars, that's right, I give this lens a full five stars. And if I had 50, I'd give it all 50, but I don't. But I've got five stars for this lens. It is unbelievable to be able to have something this light and be able to take wherever you want. I mean, wow, I'm gonna have a blast and take it out in the wilderness. And I'm gonna have some better videos about this lens that you're gonna wanna hang around with and about the OM-1. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you have and you do subscribe. If you got any insights, let me know down below. By the way, the weather sealing. I had this thing out, don't tell anybody, in complete snow, like downpouring snow, heavy. Just the other night when that big storm came through, no problems. This thing wiped right off, dried up, no problems. Put really a comment. Good. Help the algorithm to know that this video actually worked. It would help me out greatly, appreciated. And then I will also catch that you've also subscribed. And hey, I put a new comment in. I I heard a bunch of great stuff about it. Wanted to see if it's really true. Well, guess what? It's true. Peace. All right. Here's all that information. Take a look at it. Enjoy. Make sure you hit that bell and notification so that you're subscribed so that when I post the winners, you'll know who the winner is. Might be you. wonder why I'm doing this is because I think it's amazing how OM Systems is working so hard to bring back Olympus and I love Olympus because that's where I started my whole photography as a kid and I want to be able to make sure that Olympus makes it back. Olympus is what gave me my start as a kid learning the passion for photography and I want to see them succeed. So I'm doing what little bit I can to help spread the word and in return you all gonna have a chance of winning some really cool stuff.